Hey guys, I wanted to make another video going through the paper that I use and how I prepare it. I know a lot of people have been asking about why I wet my paper, uh, so I thought I'd explain that in this video as well. It's a bit of an anticlimax why I wet my paper. Um, it's literally just to get the, the paper flat. I work on very large pieces of paper that you can't buy in flat sheets, so I have to cut it off a roll. And because the paper I work on is quite thick, it doesn't uh, go flat very easily. So I have to use a technique called stretching the paper to get it flat. I need to cut the, uh, the right size of paper off and fasten it down to my board uh, and then wet it with water to, to get it flat. I use gum tape on either side to, to secure it. And as the water gets wet, it kind of stretches out or it expands a bit. Um, and then as it dries, it pulls very tight. And then so overnight, it'll go completely flat. And for me, that's been the quickest and best way to get my paper perfectly flat so I can start drawing. When I wet the paper and use a sponge to, to move the water around, I think I do kind of disrupt the surface of the paper a bit, which will give me like a kind of a rough uh, texture. And I don't think this affects my drawing too much, but it does maybe change a little bit. It maybe loosens the paper up so that it can absorb graphite a little bit better. I think the biggest thing I wanted to talk about in this video was paper. Uh, a lot of people kind of ask me what pencils um, are the best to use or, um, what tools or tricks there are, and I think the number one most important thing is paper. Most good quality pencils are mostly the same, uh, but when it comes to paper, almost all the brands I've found are different. Um, it'll take quite a bit of experimenting. I think most you should try and find a paper that works best for your style and for your medium. So if you're working with charcoal, sometimes um, there's specific papers that'll lend themselves really well to charcoal, but when it comes to graphite, they won't perform so well. Uh, and vice versa, there's some papers that are amazing for graphite, but as soon as you try and apply charcoal, then they just kind of fall apart. So it's really good to experiment and try and find a paper that really suits your style of drawing. I personally use Archer's Aquarelle paper, 300 gram hot press. Uh, the hot press is quite important for me. It's quite a smooth finish. Uh, you can do cold press paper. I think a lot of watercolor artists use cold press paper. It's got a very nice texture to it. But when it comes to drawing, that texture starts to get in the way of trying to do finer details. So hot press is fantastic for doing really delicate, soft, fine details. Uh, so that's the one I use. And the 300 gram is just a more robust paper. It's also why I need to wet it so that um, it doesn't roll up again. Uh, but it can kind of endure a bit more punishment um, at 300 grams, so it's a little bit better for me. So paper is... The, the, using good quality paper when you're trying to improve with drawing has so many levels of why it's very important. Firstly, when you're using high quality paper, you're going to be able to cut some corners um, and also it'll show up some mistakes a little bit better. It's almost like using a high quality microphone or something. You're gonna notice all the mistakes a lot more, but you'll also be able to do a lot more with it. So you need to learn how to use it as soon as possible so you become used to it. You understand what shortcuts you can take, you, you understand which mistakes you can't make, uh, especially if you wanna be producing um, high quality work. I think if you were to take cartridge paper, there's a limit of what kind of graphite tone you can get on cartridge paper. If I was working on cartridge paper, it would look terrible. So, um, I really encourage people to try and work on the best quality paper they can afford. The only downside from using high quality paper is that it's so expensive. So I usually try to encourage artists to use the, the best quality paper that they can afford. Um, the other side of it is also you become so precious of your good quality paper that you kind of put it aside and you save it for a drawing that you know is going to look good. Uh, and this is quite a mistake to make. I think it's important to start using it for everything as soon as you can because when you make a mistake on high quality paper, the price is just, it costs a little bit more. And there's something in that. There's, a, there's more of an incentive to improve when or to like push through when something doesn't work out the way you want it to if you're trying to achieve a texture or something um, you kind of out of necessity get more creative with and improve your skills with trying to find a workaround or a solution to something that you've done i found that when i started working on really good quality paper all the time i paid so much more attention to not making mistakes and not messing around because I think maybe that's another thing is that people spend a lot of time just messing around and that's where you know art is a lot of fun you can just fool around and that's great uh, but also if people want to improve you kind of have to 
push through some really difficult things and, and come to terms with not being able to do something until you actually can do it. Um, so yeah, I think <laughs> there's like a weird, um, there's a weird compromise when it comes to using really good quality paper and that's almost that you have to get better to justify using it. So uh, it, it's kind of a double-sided sword because you also want to be able to make mistakes. I think that's a big thing that our teachers will, will teach, which is, you know, lean into the mistakes. If, if you make a mistake, don't throw it away, work around it. And I think that's also kind of what I'm trying to preach now. Um, but at the same time, not to be afraid of making mistakes to the point that you're crippled and you can only do one thing uh, that you know you can do very well. So try and be brave, work with a high quality paper. And then like when you screw up, which we all do all the time, um, get creative and, and persevere, try and get through it. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video or what you'd like to see next. Uh, if you like the more kind of mental aspect or the mental approach to, um, to drawing or art, uh, I'd love to do more videos explaining my headspace going into drawings as well uh, if you're interested. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.